Welcome to Primary YPWW Lesson 13. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's topic is getting back to Sunday worship. The lesson scripture is coming out of Nehemiah chapter 13 verses 15 through 22. In those days saw I in Judah some treading wine presses on the Sabbath and bringing in sheaves and ladding asses as also wine, grapes, and figs, and all manner of burdens, which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. And I testified against them in the day wherein they sold victuals. There dwelt men of Tyre also therein, which brought fish and all manner of ware, and sold on the Sabbath unto the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah, and said unto them, What evil thing is this that ye do, and profane the Sabbath day? Did not your fathers thus, and did not our God bring all this evil upon us, and upon this city? Yet ye bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath. And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the gates should be shut and charged that they should not be open till after the Sabbath. And some of my servants sent I at the gates that there should no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. So the merchants and sellers of all kind of ware lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. Then I testified against them and said unto them, why lodge ye about the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time forth, they came no more on the Sabbath. And I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves and that they should come and keep the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O oh my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of thy mercy. The memory verse for today's lesson. And I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves and that they should come and keep the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O oh my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of thy mercy. And that's Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 22. The target for today's lesson. The Lord wants children to know that his day is a holy and very significant time and that we should not fear getting back to Sunday worship in our church. Nehemiah commands the Levites and priests to obey God's word and keep themselves clean. This will help them to keep the gates and the temple of the Lord sanctified. Sanctified means living holy. God's people are set apart for a sacred purpose. It is important for us to be holy. We are chosen to encourage others to get back to holy living and worshiping God. God's people succeed in rebuilding the walls of their city. They built the temple church. There is more to do. They restore the Levites as priests. They establish parts of service according to God's word. They add singers. They reestablish tithing for church growth and support. They make praise and worship a part of the Sabbath services. Nehemiah notices that the people are working and doing everything they wanted to do on the Sabbath. They are shopping, buying, and selling. They are working. Even the leaders are comfortable staying out of the house of God. He calls the deeds evil and declares that the people must get back to honoring God and keeping the Sabbath day holy. Nehemiah adds, God is worthy and holy. He deserves better. When the sun goes down the night before the Sabbath, Nehemiah commands a shut-in. He says, let the gates be shut and not open until after the Sabbath. Priests stand at the gates. The Sabbath is holy again. Nehemiah shows us that getting back to Sunday worship is what we must do. 
the questions for today's lesson, and you can search the scriptures on your own and ask for help from a grown-up. Question 1. What did Nehemiah notice the people doing on the Sabbath? Question 2. What did Nehemiah do when the sun went down the night before the Sabbath? The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.